me and why and Yep. We are live. Good afternoon. Uh, this is the. Yep. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. This is the meeting of the Westfield Building Corporation. Uh, special meeting called to consider and approve some documents for the uh, Old Town Parking Garage downtown. Um, we have. Do we have a quorum? We have. Two out of three of the board of directors here. Larry? Here. John Moore. So we have a quorum. Larry has consented to take minutes, uh, so you might make a note of that. Um, we're here at the, the meeting, the minutes from the March meeting um, have been circulated. Uh, any questions, Larry? Nope. Um, I motion we approve the minutes. I second that motion. Uh, vote. Yay. 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 Minutes approved. Moving on, um, first item of uh, resolution 01 2022 Union Square Development Agreement. Catherine Finello is going to. Can you talk a little bit about what we're we're doing here, just to give us an idea? Good afternoon. Am I on here? So this is a follow-up to the project we've been talking about, I think, for a little while. Um, the parking garage in the Union Square uh, allocation area, which is the Union Square TIF area. Um, this development agreement has been approved by the council, has been approved by the Redevelopment Commission, and so now we seek your approval because you're an integral part of the uh, financing process. Okay. Um, so I don't know you have any additional questions on it or if there are any specific questions you want me to to address at this time okay uh, I want to thank you for your diligence and working with me over the last several days to answer several questions yeah. about uh, about the process and where we are with it uh, and, and I'm, I'm happy with that and I have no more questions Larry? Yeah, I appreciate that thank you um, number one I was a little when I got to know this we knew nothing about this garage you know we thought Initially, you were talking about phase two. So, you know, we need to fix that in the future. That's frankly unacceptable, getting, you know, having that come to us that quickly. I didn't know about the location of this until I think it was Friday. Well, so. I think, yeah, I think I, Justin did explain because last year we actually expanded the TIF but area. Nobody told us. Yeah, we. It, oh, okay. This is the it, first we heard about it. It's all squared away. Okay, got it. Um, I do have a couple of questions. I don't, I don't understand how the city gets, and you know, this is a, a project inside um, a development. Um, you know, I, you know, what benefit is it to the citizens? Because there's not many car spots that they're actually going to be able to use. And so I think we have a, a maybe a couple different responses that maybe Jeremy's got some to add about the overall development, but I'll give you kind of the legal background of where this comes from. Thank so you. under Indiana Code 36.7.11.9 and also 12, that is called our Economic Development Revenue Statute in Indiana, and it is exactly for this purpose. Um, and so in that statute, it actually says you'll liberally construe this statute to accomplish the economic development purposes as set forth in that statute. And so projects like this um, do happen quite frequently across the state. They've happened with the neighbors around here in, in Hamilton County, your, your neighbor cities. Um, and it does allow for developer involvement because um, it is considered a public purpose under that statute. And so what will happen Actually, next week we have a meeting scheduled because there is a board created under that economic development statute, and it's called the Westfield Economic Development Commission, and they will actually hold a public hearing on this project, and they will review the project and make a determination as to the public benefit of the project. Um, so that's kind of the legal structure, and, and then they will pass a recommendation on to the council who will then agree or disagree. <laughs> so th that's kind of the legal background. 
and from from the city side, um, old old town or the developer in this case can build their development exactly the way it is without the parking garage and park there, meet their parking requirement with surface parking. So our contribution to the parking creates the garage and creates up to 300 parking spots that are public parking spots for our downtown. So the, for the public good is the available public parking spots that will be there because of the garage, which is what we are really contributing to in this. Okay, believe it or not, you just cleared up a big question that I, I really had. I, I, what I didn't understand is how uh, the development was going to go. You know, I was under the, the impression that the parking garage was a requirement for the development. It's not. It is not. Okay, you've just answered, you've just cleared up a lot of things right now. Yeah. Statement. Yeah, it is not a requirement of the development. Our contribution is to create public parking in that garage not only for downtown, but specifically for Grand Junction events, as well as the restaurants mm -hmm. and things on Park Street. Okay. So do I understand correctly then, we issue the bonds, the parking garage itself, the structure and the land underneath it will be owned by the RDC? Yes. Owned Actually, by us. the or city it'll be owned will- by us. Yeah, the right. city will issue the bonds they're called economic development lease rental bonds. They will issue the bonds under the econo economic development statute. You, as the building corporation, are acting as lessor of the project, the garage project, and that will include the real estate and the project that's constructed on the real estate. And during over the 25 year period that the uh, Redevelopment Commission makes its lease rental payments, at, that really basically services the debt service payment for the city's bonds. And then at the end of that 25 year, which is the lease period, which is the same period as the bonds, uh, the uh, garage will become the property of the Redevelopment Commission. At that time, they can continue to own it or transfer it to the city. Okay, so uh, and who will operate the, the garage? That is something that I think the city is working on. As, as a part of the agreement, Old Town is going to operate the garage. So they are going to have some four lease spaces for their apartment uh, dwellers. Um, they're going to utilize that money to operate and maintain the garage. And then, as she said, so we, we, we are the owners, we being the RDC. You are the lessor, so you guys are going to be mm -hmm. the body that owns the, the, the garage. And then they're going to operate it. So we're not going to be changing trash and doing all those things. That's part of what uh, Old Town is doing in their in their portion of the operation. Okay, one other quick question. Five years down the road, after the garage starts operating, Old Town discovers that they're 40% short on operating funds for the garage. What happens then? Well, the bonds are actually paid for by tax increment revenues. Yep. Understood. And so, and then backed up uh, in the event that those are short from a pledge by the council of the local income tax, if they so, shoot, cho so choose to make that pledge. Um, whether the funds, I think, were going to go and help the city and the RDC with respect to the operation at that time, the city would need to take a look if something like that happened, um, you know, how to supplement those revenues or how to generate revenues. Um, that's so something Old that Town's operating expenses aren't necessarily going to be enough to cover their operating expenses. So the, once the garage is constructed, there's not a whole lot of operating costs. There's, um, there's, there's maintenance and sure. snow plowing and... Well, it's a covered garage. There's not going to be a ton of snow plowing. Um, but I'll say it like this. Old Town has the same structure in many other uh, cities, mm -hmm. specifically in Hamilton County. They don't have operating shortfalls in those. I don't foresee any sh operating shortfalls here. Uh, if there are, then we would be coming back to the bodies uh, of approval to ask for additional money. But I don't foresee there being a an issue there from an operating perspective. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Jeremy, Jeremy, in, in, in any case, uh, 
the agreement between the city, operating agreement between the city, the RDC, and and the uh, private owner here. Uh, you're you're going to cover that operating maintenance. It's going to be their responsibility, as I understand it. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. Okay. So the RDC, were you talking about the RDC or no, Old Town? The, the, uh, the owner, um, Moffitt. Yeah. Yes. And I don't know if he would like to address any questions. That correct? The operating. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? No. Uh, hearing none, um, I would uh, entertain a motion to. So moved. I to second the motion. To approve resolution 01 uh, 2 Zero two two. Yeah. Okay. I second that motion to um, approve resolution 01 2022. Um, call for a vote, please. Ron. Yes. Larry. Yes. Steve is not present. Yes. Two one. Excuse me. Good. Moving on. Uh, the. Next item on the agenda is resolution 02 2022 resolution for um, uh, the lease form agreement uh, between uh, the building corp and the RDC. Correct. Catherine. So you have a proposed form of lease. Uh, we're not formally approving that. We're approving the form. Uh, the we're asking the Redevelopment Commission to approve that form as well tonight so that we can set a public hearing because there's still a couple steps to go through before this lease is ever finalized or actually signed. Um, so, But this gives an opportunity for everyone to review, ask questions, um, and get us to the public hearing point. Good. Uh, I want, um, and, and so... Therefore, we're really looking at a step in the process here moving forward. Preliminary right. approval. Right. Okay. Yes. Preliminary approval. Thank you. Any questions? Nope. I would entertain a motion. Um, so moved uh, in resolution 02-2022. I'll second that motion. Larry? Aye. Ron? Yep. Yes. 2-1. Uh, next item <clears throat> that we have up here is additional business, and this is where uh, I think, I think John, we we're talking about um, some of the things that we're doing here as a committee. Um, so, uh, is we want to talk a little bit about the June twenty second scheduled meeting for our for our group for the Westfield Building Corp. and the and the agenda format for that. Right. And a standing format going forward. Yeah, one of the things that we talked about was a standing template, right. and that would include approval of minutes, you know, the approval of minutes. Right. Probably a presentation by the builder. Right. And a presentation by myself on the financial state. Yeah. And then a presentation by Rob yeah. Gaylor, Chief Gaylor, to talk about the, the progress of the facility yeah. it operations I, I think I, I think my my question and intent for for those things was to get the updates is that what we're saying here yes the, the, yeah the, 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 these would be standard quarterly updates okay and on the 20 on the 20 on the 28th I believe is when the first next yeah, I would have to June 28th yes yes June 28th um, I would like to add to that a discussion about the uh, about the upcoming um, interest payment on the uh, on the on the bonds, which is due August fifteenth. Okay. Okay. And that's really just to get us familiar with exactly what the process is and and where we what we need to do to make sure that that all happens right. Okay. Okay. What I would suggest is that you know we add uh, maybe not with the first quarter meeting, but our regular quarterly meeting had the parking garage stuff, too, just so we're aware of what's going in um, with that. We can do yeah, that. We move forward. Yeah, we can do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. We would do that. Okay. Uh, so, okay, I, I'll, I'll get a draft out to you guys uh, for you to look over, and then that we'll would, go from there. How's that? That would be perfect. Thank you. Okay. 
Um, I think that's all the, that we have here. John, is there anything else that we need to talk about? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. And um, then I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Uh, second. Adjourn. Meeting adjourned.